Okay, right, so what have I ordered? I ordered quite a few things. Let's have a look. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Poker Collection. I have got something a bit different for you just to break up the, the, the Pokemon TCG uh, onslaught that I've got coming at you. Um, so recently, unexpectedly actually, I, I don't know, I don't know Wait, was it unexpected? I don't even know, because half the time I don't know what's going on with, with fandoms. But if you don't already know, I am a huge fan of Banjo-Kazooie, uh, which is a game that was released on the N64 in 97, um, I believe, and or 98, I can't remember. But it was... It, I, I loved that game so much, so much so that my wife... Uh, wifey Collection is so sick of me humming the theme tune from Gruntilda's Lair every single day. Also, waking up to my alarms every single day, and each one of them is a different level uh, <laughs> from uh, Banjo Kazooie's. And I have many different alarms. So one starting at 5:30, then six, then six, at th six fifteen, and getting slowly faster and faster until I really have to get up. Um, so yeah, pretty much everybody's sick of it. <laughs> um, but I absolutely love the games, love the soundtrack, and. For many years, we didn't really get access to much merch merchandise from Banjo Kazooie until suddenly, the last couple of years, I think beginning with uh, the loot crate, which which I got the sort of number plate thing, um, they they released that and um, the Totaku figures that came out last year, and also I think four fig four figure games or four figure. Sorry, first four figures. Gosh, I've, I've I've forgotten the names. I'm terrible. I'm sorry. If you're new to this channel, please please accept my apologies. Um, but uh, the first four figures also did this massive, amazing Banjo-Kazooie statue, which I really, really want. Um, but suddenly now, there's Fan Gamer, there's I'm 8 bit as well that did the vinyl uh, soundtrack, which please bring out Banjo-Tooie soon. I, I really want it. Um, and that was just, there's so much Rareware merchandise, I'm such a huge, uh, huge Rareware fan that basically I should just start a Banjo-Kazooie collection. So I'm almost almost certain that because I'm starting to make quite a bit of Banjo-Kazooie content, including this, I'm going to be making a Banjo-Kazooie playlist um, just to compile all of them so you guys have easy references to go back to, you know, where that, because obviously there'll be space, time spaced, oh, space, I don't know what I'm talking about. Basically there'll be time in between each video uh, when it comes out because it's a lot less frequent than the Pokemon and other stuff that I do. Um, but uh, anyway, so I ordered from Fangamer a Black Friday sale thing. They had going, they had the plushies that were coming out, and I've never owned a Banjo Kazooie official plush, so I thought I gotta get this. Um, so I ordered them, uh, but we didn't realize that uh, there were gonna be other surprises there, including another version of the soundtrack composed by Grant Kirkhope. Grant, if you're watching this, which he probably has better things to do. Oh, maybe he might be drinking eggnog right now and doesn't care, which is fair enough. I mean, why not? Um, but if you're watching this, I am one of the biggest fans. I, I can say, I, I can safely say, I live your music every single day because I wake up to it. If that's not, uh, uh, I don't know, I don't know what kind of comment you want to take that as, but if that's not a fan, I don't know what is. And also the fact that my whole family is sick of hearing Gruntilda's Lair, but um, that's not, not meant to cause offence, that's more just because I'm obsessed. Um, I would love to interview interview you and, and, and get you on the channel one day, hopefully in the future, or even get you down in New Zealand so I can take you some places and whatever. But um, I'm a huge fan of the soundtrack, so, and a huge fan of music, uh, a vinyl has been, uh, since my birth, I've been around vinyl. So before this whole resurgence thing, I've not been part of that indie fad or whatnot. I am huge on vinyl. And so when they released this four LP set of Banjo-Kazooie, I thought the one that we had before from IM8 bit, which was the brown uh, and red vinyl, uh, which you may have seen in my uh, Banjo Kazooie 30th cupcake video, which I did last year. See, that's how much I had to turn in my 30s. I had to come into my 30s with Banjo Kazooie merch. Okay, it's four minutes, and I haven't even showed you guys the unboxing. Basically, I got the, the they released a soundtrack on Fan Gamer, and it can includes even more tracks that weren't featured in the original album. And to my surprise, when they sent a download for the album immediately upon ordering. It contained 164 tracks from the entire soundtrack, including every single version of every single uh, levels, different areas, and the aquatic versions. They had the beta mixes. It was just so awesome as a muso myself 
going through that, I'm going to open this box while I talk, because I can't stop talking, I'm sorry about this. This is terrible video, four minutes and you guys, you guys got nothing. Anyway, so what, what I was going I was going through that for a good few days over the weekend when I, when I received that, and it has just been the most amazing thing ever. So um, thank you, um, Fangamer, for bringing us official merch. I haven't brought everything yet, I've only bought... The, the the plush merch first because that was my main thing but I will I will need to get um, I will need to get the uh, the the, the t-shirts very soon okay right so what have I ordered I ordered quite a few things let's have a look okay first I'm okay I'm, oh, I might just get all this stuff out this is really really funny pack this is cool okay I'm just gonna take everything out because there's so much in here. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I really wanted a. I, I wasn't planning to actually do a video, to be honest. I don't think you guys would be interested. But I thought, it's pop culture stuff, why not? Um, okay, I just need to get rid of this massive box out of the way. Sorry about the noise. Alright, we'll start with... This. They had a surprise plushie. And it was this awesome Jiggy plush, which was just so cool. And it's come in this really cool Banjo Kazooie package shrink wrap because obviously it helps with packaging. But I'm the fact that they've branded this now. I almost don't. I'm, I'm one of those really OCD collectors that I don't want to even. Um, open this package because it's got the logo on it and the logo just gives me goosebumps all the time. I'm such a nerd, I'm, you know, well, I know I am, but when I open this stuff, it's just incredible. Okay, well I'm just gonna open it at the bottom anyway and show you guys the Jiggy Plush. I'll open it carefully. It's really cool though, the shrink wrapping. It's a clever way to save on um, Making this a huge box and shipping. Right. Oh, and it's inflated. Oh, look at that. This is so cool. So, Wifey Collection doesn't know that I've ordered this, but I had to get it because Jiggy. I need to insert the Jiggy sound somewhere. This is so cool, though. Okay, so this is a Jiggy plush. I'm just going to stand up here. This microphone is going to be it's suffering. Um, oh, I can just stand it. So that is what it looks like. I'm just going to lift the camera up a bit. Um, that is a Jiggy plush, and I'm so excited. So behind me, you've got um, the Tataku figures just above my head. Just there. Just above Gyarados. There. The Tataku figures, and then the number plates just there. Um, but you can check out my other videos. I'll, I'll put them in the, in the at the end so you can link it to there. But what I really like about this little Jiggy cushion is a fact that it has these motifs on the side. So shout out to the, the artist, I forgot his name, I, I followed him on Twitter, um, but he did such an amazing job of, of that. And um, it was really cool. It's memory foam, ooh, it's really soft, it's super soft. Um, I just love the motifs, you got the, uh, you got the Jinjos, um, the, uh, the Mumbo Token, the Rareware logo, the new one, the musical notes, the honeycombs, honeycomb pieces, feathers, um, the eggs as well. It's just it's just awesome. I love it. So simple and so cool. And when I eventually have a sofa in the room, I will in my studio, I will definitely put this on there. But actually, I might just put this on Snorlax just behind me, um, and you guys can see. And I guess some people can get comfy with the jiggy cushion and the Snorlax head and whatever. Okay, right, I'm going to put this over here because I don't know where else to put it at this point. Um, but that's really cool. Alright, so the next thing is the Banjo and Kazooie plush, which is so cool already. Um, again, in branded bags, which makes me almost want to buy two of each item going forward so I can keep some sealed in this great packaging that I don't want to throw away and open the others. But I have to open these ones because last time I didn't open the Tataku figures. I don't know why I didn't do that, but I should have. Right. My first ever Banjo Kazoo plush. As a 31 year old male, that sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? I mean, again, I entered my 30s with Banjo Kazooie cupcakes and I had to do that. But 
hey, this is nothing. Okay, so um, again, Fan Gamer did this. Uh, it's a Banjo collectible plush. What's cool about this is that they are separate as well. So you have got, sorry, I should probably check the camera. Um, we've got Banjo here. Duh, duh, pee. I can't even do it because I can't do because I can do I can do Banjo better. Uh, Kazooie and I love the little subtlety with Kazooie having the egg sort of logo and Banjo having the jiggy. That's pretty cool. So what's awesome about this plush is that I mean you've got the necklace, a Banjo styled with the old Banjo style, which is great. So thank you for doing that. But also he's got the legendary backpack, which is you know is used in so many different moves. Um, but you can actually put Kazooie in there, which I think is the best thing ever. I love that they've done it like that. So you can actually have Kazooie just casually being all snarky in the background like that. Um, I probably need to move the camera for this. How cool is that? That's really cool. Terrible camera movement, I'm sorry. Um, but it's so cool, and you can have him... Um, looking that way as well if if, if sorry look not him her looking this way as well it's such a cool i'll show you kazooie as well a bit closer but it's really awesome you can pose them a little bit differently and the wings can be oh look that's really cool they've got uh, metal wires inside so you can actually um uh, move and adjust uh kazooie's wings which is just awesome as well nice little detail but this is so cool i just love this i can't believe i've got this i don't know why I get so excited about plush and why people do in general, but I think it's just nice having something uh, just come to life a little bit. Um, it's just awesome, and, and especially with the game that you grew up with, that you just, it just, I don't know, I don't know why and how. Though I'm not complaining, but it's just something like that just became so significant in my life that I was just absolutely obsessed with it. Um, the music, the worlds, the characters. And I remember in 2007, 2008, when Conflagration Violent was the key name for the new Banjo-Kazooie. As much as I was excited about new Banjo-Kazooie, when it became what it became, I have to admit, it wasn't what I was expecting. But, I mean, visually amazing, very cool, but it wasn't the Banjo 3 that I was waiting for. And I think I was so obsessed with that time period. Um, I was just started university, and I was looking at all the rumors uh, possible um, yeah I just I just love this game so much I grew up with it for so long it's just insane um, yeah really cool I'm just excited okay this video is getting really long I need to carry on okay so there's Banjo Kazooie um, with the plush which is awesome by the way I have to say I'm wearing an unofficial Banjo Kazooie t-shirt just coincidentally um, so sorry about that fan gamer. I did not I haven't ordered any fan gamer t-shirts to Compensate for this unofficial t-shirt. This was bought years and years ago before any Banjo Kazoo merch was available um, So I'll rectify that as soon as I make another order through fan gamer But also I wanted you guys to know I'm not sure if you guys see it in the small screen, but there's behind me here I've got some awesome artwork by um, uh, Rye spirit art who's based in Australia. He comes to a lot of the expos down here in Australia and New Zealand. Um, first artwork piece that I bought from him was that. Also got his ukulele artwork piece on here as well. Shout out to the Platonic team. Um, and actually, I want to get the ukulele plush at some point as well to join Banjo-Kazooie. It's only right, so I'm, I'm spending way too much money. Way too much. All right, so finally... Oh, actually, also, thanks to Mighty Ape as well, because I found out on my birthday... <laughs> Coincidentally, that they had this limited edition Banjo Kazooie coin um, and also the rareware set, which I'm also going to get very soon. But I, I wanted to get this one. Apparently, it's only 9,995 worldwide. I'm sorry, there's a painful burp going through. Uh, a really cool Banjo Kazooie coin with the motifs there. And this is number 2,240, so definitely not low, but oh, oh well. Um, really cool. Um, I never showcased that one, but I thought I'd showcase it now. All right, so I don't know which which part of this whole set is the most exciting for me, but because everything is, and honestly, I can't really equate it. But I mean, I keep saying that this is the best one as well. But I was really excited about this. So on my birthday, which is second November, I was also I was gifted a turntable because uh, my I was 
I was actually hoping to get one next year after all the money that we spent recently over the last few years on the wedding and um, saving and also uh, just visa applications and stuff. Um, I don't really have much money to spend on anything that I really wanted to enjoy so much, even though I still keep buying vinyl. Um, but that's just one of my, you know, massive passions. And so my parents, uh, parents collection gifted me a turntable, which really made me a bit emotional because the way to my heart is normally not just, it's not really Pokemon actually, it's more music because that's something that kept me just, you know, sort of going uh, as a child. So um, to get a turntable was just awesome. Sorry, I'm having struggle, difficulty opening this. Um, to get that was awesome, and then um, we, I name, I, by the way, to show you how crazy my world is, all my inanimate objects are named after characters in the Banjo-Kazooie uh, franchise. So you've got my car, which is named Tootie, because it toots, and then you've got um, Kazooie, which is my little, um, little uh, portable speaker, um, and then you've got Bottles, which is... Um, my laptop and, and pretty much a lot of and even we got ding pot which is my which is my walk so if you want to know another level of sad or sad um, it's absolutely definitely high up there um, but one of the things that I had to do was inaugurate my turntable and I kid you not this is before this is a few weeks before um, the fan game fan game announced the plushies um, renamed my turntable Spiral Mountain. So, <laughs> in name, we named it obviously because it spirals around, it goes round and round. Um, so when I saw Fangamer announce the plushies, I was excited, but when they announced alongside the vinyl, this Spiral Mountain, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, it's what goes on the turntable, a, a little mat. Um, it was done by Andrew Kolb for Fangamer, which is awesome. When I when, when I saw this, I was just like, it had to be. It ha just has to be. It, it was meant to be, sorry. I'm not even coming out of words. I was that shocked. Um, the fact that they did a Spiral Mountain um, placemat. It was just absolutely, not placemat, what? You know, I know I know the, I, I know the bloody slip mat. That's the name, slip mat. Anyway, um, so that's gonna in, um, that's going straight onto my turntable because I was always wondering, hmm, what slip map will I ever use? <coughs> and instantly, like within a few weeks, we got this announcement. It was just the best. Anyway, so what I love about this, if you guys know anything about um, Banjo Kazooie, um, I love this. It goes from the Spiral Mountain and Gruntilda's layer, with Gruntilda floating at the top there, right to Mumbo's Mountain, and chronologically goes around. Even the even the um, the ticker the ticker tower is there. Um, it goes chronologically around to all the different um, levels, and I love how it just sort of blends it all together with the jiggy in the middle. Um, so there's Treasure Trove Cove, Clankers Cavern. We've got Bubble Gloop Swamp, um, and then we've got Freeze Easy Peak. We've got Gobi's Valley. A Mad Monster Mansion, which was my favourite. Rusty Bucket Bay, which just destroyed everybody. And then finally, Click Clockwood and Banjo's House. Um, I just absolutely love it. So, Andrew Kolb, you are a genius, a legend. Well done for this. And Fangamer, you, you've got the right team to... This is just awesome. I love this. Um, oh gosh, it's just awesome. I just I had to get it with, with the final. Okay, finally, sorry, I am keep going on. Um, so... We have the Banjo Kazooie original soundtrack. I'm gonna have to take the camera out. Um, Banjo Kazooie original soundtrack uh, featuring 41 songs. Just 41 songs on full vinyl. Obviously, it's 12 inch LP as well. Um, but if you bought this, um, you got also an instant download of. 164 tracks, which gives you even more than what you've got on vinyl. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, the artwork was also done by Andrew Kolb, so shout out to you, dude. You've done an amazing job on this. I love that he referenced the ending. Um, if Spoiler alert, if you have not played the game, maybe don't listen on. Um, but this is the ending where they uh, um, sort of have a happy happy little beach, beach time. Um, 
celebrate the victory over defeating Gruntilda the Witch. And I, I, I really, I'm really glad that you got the two watermelons in there as well, because as a kid growing up, seeing those two watermelons in the position they were placed, Rareware, you had me absolutely laughing, and I was very, as an innocent little boy. Um, okay, right, so I'm going to show you some of the... Uh, uh, you guys might not be interested in music, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm sure many of you do listen to music, though. It's a universal thing. So I'm going to carefully, very carefully, without destroying this whole set, uh, open this up so I can show you closely. Um, one thing I will do, though, is I'll take some really good pictures, um, and I'll post them on my Facebook page under the photo album section like I do with other recordings, so you guys can get a better look um, in case I happen to do a really bad job with oversized items like I'm doing today. <laughs> okay, so let's... You guys are seeing the bottom bit here. But um, you get the gist of it. Each album comes in its own little cardboard slipcase and coloured really nicely. The vinyl themselves aren't coloured, to be honest. I don't really think they need to be when there's so much goodness in this already but um it's all standard 180 gram 33 and a third rpm um and it's just cool i just i just love that it's very retro looking as well um i love that both versions the one from i make bit and this one have this sort of theme that doesn't actually follow just the normal logo stuff that you get is that they specifically designed it which is really cool so i mean i can show you the vinyl here as well but with that but yeah that's really cool um so yeah i, I just i just love that they've done it that way so now all i ask <laughs> if it's not too much to ask is that I may bit release a sequel to the Banjo Tui one in their coloured formats as a two LP, and then Fan Gamer release another whopper of a of a set like this, um, for with an expanded level, and also it'll be really nice for um, people like me to have one of each item because you know. Rarity. What I love here as well, look at this. I love these minor touches. Very small, but noticeable ones. I need to focus here. That's not going to focus, is it? I'll put my hand in front of there. Okay, it's not going to focus on it very well, but on... Oh, there we go. So it's got an egg, feather, musical note, and Jinjo on the side as well, which I just love. Anyway, the camera's having, uh, having difficulty... Um, uh, focusing but last but not least we have a little package here from fan gamer which is cool so let's have a quick look at that before i close off this video thank you for putting up with me this long i actually didn't plan for this to go on for so long okay so we have an artist series oh wow this is so cool this is such an awesome thing um They've got little pieces of art drawn by kids uh, around the world. Big kids, small kids. This is from Iris Young. Just focus there. It's an artist series. That's really cool. Uh, who's age three. And she's made these little, little cre cute little creatures. I'm not sure what they're called. Um, there's no description there on them. But very cool. Uh, if you... If she ever sees this when she grows up, then, you know, thank you very much for that. That's a really nice little piece of artwork. I love artwork anyway. Um, and I don't know what this is. This is the stickers. Oh, I've got a sticker as well. That's cool. I like stickers. And this is by Laura Verdin. So, nice one, Laura. And then finally, I've got a booklet here of what Fan Gamer currently has in stock or sells. And I really need to get their t-shirts, hoodies, basically I want one of every possible uh, Banjo-Kazooie item in the world available currently officially. So that's so much to ask. It's the curse of being a collector. But you know what, this name, Poker Collection, and every other collection I made, toy collection, music collection, all that stuff, really worked for me in the end because I clearly collect way too much. So it's really just collection, collection. Um, Alright guys, thank you for putting putting yourselves through that. Um, I would go through the whole vinyl set here, but I know you guys will 
um, hate me for making this video any longer. But um, you can um, go and check this out on Fangamer.com. Thank you to the guys at Fangamer, Rareware, Grant, Kirkhope, uh, and pretty much everybody involved, the artists and the stuff, for really putting out some good stuff for fans of Banjo-Kazooie. Finally allowing some Banjo-Kazooie fans to own some merch that they just want to own beyond the games and and little bits here and there. It's just nice to actually, I know it sounds stupid to say, but it's nice to have the games, but I think sometimes once you've finished it, there's always a sense of loss or there's a blues period, um, post-game blues type thing. To have, to have that stuff, to have something that's so... Uh, it resonates so much uh, with your upbringing. It became an escape for me personally, alongside Pokemon and music. Banjo Kazooie, Pokemon, music, all those three things, I can't explain how big they are. Um, and it, it, I don't really need to say how, how big it is because my daily life includes uh, Banjo Kazooie, so um, that's probably a testament in itself. So I just want to say thank you to everybody involved in letting this happen for. For listening to the fans, to, for also putting up with the fans who just keep asking for Banjo 3. -E. Please make a Banjo 3. -E. Um, uh, just, just, I, I just love you guys, and, and, and this is just awesome to have. And I will be back at Fan Gamer very soon. This is not sponsored in any way, by the way. I'm just saying I paid for these my own dime, and happy to. Um, but thank you, and I appreciate it, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below if you're a Banjo Kazoo fan, if you ever played it, or you plan to play it. If you ha are a fan, have played it, and are keen to look into buying this stuff, let me know what you are keen to get based on what you've seen here today. Let me know what's your favourite. Or check out their range online, they have a lot more, uh, including stuff from Conker's Bad Fur Day, which I haven't still played yet. I'm, I know I'm a terrible Railway fan. But I've got rare I've got rare replay, so I will play that. Um but yeah, let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Ready, don't.